attracting more than 25 artists from the Democratic Republic of Congo and across the world, combining different art genres such as painting, sculpture, photography and other multimedia art forms, visitors are in for a treat. The Binal is also aimed at promoting Congolese artists producing modern, challenging work as well as helping to change the perception of Congo as a poor, corrupt and war-torn country. We need to move forward because images that come from Congo are those of a Congo that is going backwards. And together with the artists, we thought of putting together something that could show a positive side of our country, to show something that would go towards changing the perception of Congo. But we did not want to do it alone. We wanted also to include artists from China, Japan, Europe and the rest of Africa. Most of the local artists at the exhibition work with recycled material, often incorporating an element that represents everyday life. And they hope the exposure from the Binal will help them reach larger audiences beyond DR Congo. I think this will open many doors for artists and for Congo because Congo is a country with a rich culture, but a country that doesn't often get the opportunity to showcase its culture. I think this biennale is something that will help us to attract more people who can say in Congo there is great art. It's quite extraordinary because there are artists who come from Kinshasa and who work here and there are a number of artists who come from abroad, from all the continent around the world, who come to explore contemporary art in Kinshasa. And with such a strong theme, because this year's theme is Yango Miale, which means forward, which I think is a great theme for Congo. The exhibition, which will take place at several cultural institutes around the city, including a railway station, is set to run until December the 19th. Jane Keo, CCTV.